Well, there are some questions about whether vaccinating more kids will help end the pandemic. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at what expanding eligibility could do for the future of the fight against COVID. There are about 321,000 kids ages 5 to 11 in San Diego County, and all of them could be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine by next week. While some people are worried about the safety of the shots for their individual children and thinking about side effects and myocarditis and things like that, others are trying to find out if expanding eligibility could help us end the pandemic. Any decision making that affects the future uh, for that, you would like to know where the future might be. Dr. Ajitesh Srivastava is a research scientist at USC and part of the COVID-19 Scenario Modeling Hub. It's a group of experts at 13 universities and medical research institutions trying to figure out what's next in the pandemic. It's very easy to get confused with numbers. You need a certain expertise to interpret these numbers. Their combined expertise just came up with a new set of projections on what would happen if kids aged 5 to 11 get approved for the vaccine versus what would happen if they didn't. According to their latest models, the U.S. would reach about 51,700,000 total COVID cases by next March if no young kids get the vaccine. But if it is approved for that age group, that number drops to 51,300,000, a difference of 400,000 fewer cases. For hospitalizations, we'd reach nearly 941,000 without approval, or 838,000 with a difference of 103,000. And for deaths, the U.S. would hit 794,000 without approval, 780,000 with a difference of 14,000. To the people on the FDA's approval committee, those numbers are significant. Well, there's lots of things that are hard to predict, but I, I do think that by getting this extra part of our population immunized, we're unlikely to see the big peaks in, in disease that we've seen in the last year. Dr. Mark Sawyer at Rady Children's Hospital is a member of that committee. He voted to recommend vaccination for kids. He says these numbers show vaccinating another large chunk of the population will bring us closer to herd immunity. Whether that shuts down the pandemic altogether, I, I couldn't predict but I think it would get us a lot closer. But there are still a lot of variables. There could be a new variant, or cities and states could ease precautions like mask mandates and social distancing. And even if the vaccine gets approved, that doesn't guarantee every kid will get the shot. Dr. Sawyer says while any of those could prolong the pandemic, more people vaccinated means it might not be as bad as the last 19 months. The modeling is only as good as the assumptions you put into it. And really, we have to wait and get real data to see how this works. In the meantime, the researchers at the modeling hub will keep working on new projections, trying to find answers to all our COVID questions. There's no prize at the end. Uh, we have the expertise and we're trying our best to contribute uh, to, to, uh, to public health. These projections aren't ironclad. There is a degree of uncertainty built in, but experts say even getting a glimpse of what these decisions could do for the future can help us all make our own decisions for ourselves and our kids. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. If you would like to look at any of the COVID-19 scenario modeling hubs projections, we have put a link on our website for you. Just go to 10news.com.